Joining me now is Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy. He's a Democrat of Illinois. He sits on the House Oversight Committee. Congressman, good to see you again, sir. Welcome back Same to the here, show. sir. Thank you, sir. Let me... I, I tell you, nothing struck me louder today than hearing Matt Gates, a, a, a Republican from the panhandle of Florida, describe the conditions, frankly, in ways that I've heard many Democrats describe the conditions of many border facilities. And so now we have universal agreement that these conditions are totally unacceptable, but it still seems to me that it's, a, that the, it's finger pointing first. I, I guess my question is, what can we do right now? Well, uh, thank you for the question. I think right now we have to spend the money that was appropriated last week uh, or week before the $4.6 billion in the way that it was intended, namely to alleviate the situation of overcrowding and improve the facilities on the border. And secondly, and very important, uh, beef up the money that's given to HHS so that they can place these children in long-term suitable uh, shelters and get them the heck out of these temporary detention facilities on the border. They have no business being there in the first place. I, I mean, for this in fairness to the, these border patrol agents are not trained to do child welfare. They so, aren't. And, and that's why we it, provided the money to HHS to right. get these children out of out, out of those places into long term shelters. What is what comes now? I mean, how, how could we fix this Yuma shelter now? For instance, you know, we, we have the money appropriated. What you know, this is the part where the disconnect, I think, is, is frustrating to watch. Yes. Um, for starters, um, I think that none of these people should be treated the way that they're treated. I didn't like the comment that was made by DHS that this behavior that was reported, whether it was sexual abuse or these unsafe and unsanitary conditions, which are already illegal under the Flores decision, somehow these, these conditions don't align, quote unquote, with their principles. How about saying that they're wrongful, unethical, and should be prosecuted right now uh, to, the, to the extent that people are actually committing these um, wrongful acts in those facilities. That's got to stop today. And then the money has to be used yeah. in the future to improve them, those facilities long term. Uh, look, and I know, my, I know where you are on this issue, so, but given the fact that we see what these migrants are willing to put up with to get here, yeah. Do we now realize uh, how bad the situation is in Central America and pulling out of Central America was the, the, the bigger mistake? Yes, sir. Um, I, I'm an immigrant myself. I came here as a three-month-old uh, boy. And, uh, you know, I look at these people and I say, there but for the grace of God go I. They are fleeing violence. They're fleeing economic deprivation in these northern, tri northern uh, uh, lateral countries uh, in Central America, uh, namely Honduras, El Salvador, and Guatemala. And um, we are cutting off humanitarian assistance to these countries at the same time that we are trying to deal with these people on the border. And so we should be resuming assistance. We should be trying to help these countries um, right now at the source of the problem, uh, not making conditions worse by cutting off humanitarian assistance. What's the biggest question Macalina needs to answer to your committee next week? Well, I think uh, first thing, he somehow denied that the conditions were as bad as they are. Um, and does he now change his answer in light of what we've learned? Um, and then secondly, what is he going to do right now to improve those conditions? And how is he going to make sure that the money that was appropriate is, appropriated is spent wisely? Um, what's the timeline for spending that money? What are the metrics for success? How are things going to improve in 10 days, two weeks, mm -hmm. a month, two months, and so forth? Let me move to another oversight issue. Jeffrey Epstein, I know that Alex Acosta uh, has been invited to testify before the Oversight Committee. Do you think you'll get him? Well, uh, perhaps he'll resign before that. I've asked for, I've called for his resignation along with a lot of my colleagues, and perhaps if he does, maybe then he won't show up. But if he's still in office at that time, he has to show up. He has to answer for his conduct. One thing that um, one of my colleagues pointed out uh, today, Catherine Clark, who questioned him at a, an yeah. appropriation subcommittee hearing, was why did he cut the human sex trafficking program within the Department of Labor by 80 percent. Why did he do that? Right. Now we're starting to have data points on this, this person where You're connecting he, the dots. You think it's fair to connect those two dots on him? 
Well, I mean, it's been... just that it, I think it's fair, and it's 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 something that unfortunately is a pattern with this administration and Donald Trump. I find that his own comments with regard to Acosta's behavior are uh, troubling, reprehensible. His general comments on women are reprehensible, and um, this is something that I hope. Others, um, including Republicans, take another look at to decide whether uh, this is the direction we should be going in. Uh, very quickly, it's our understanding that the speaker, uh, in a closed-door meeting with uh, the Democratic caucus, gave a little lecture about tweeting about fellow colleagues. What can you tell us about that? Um, <laughs> What happens in caucus stays in caucus, I guess. I, 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 all I can say is um, Did she issue a I, I warning don't do to, that. to stop tweeting about a fellow Democrat in a negative way? Well, I think that she would prefer to hear complaints or comments or, um, you know, constructive criticism personally. Um, I'm not going to judge um, other people's communication style. I just think that to... Um, effectively deal with a source of concern, it might be yeah. good to engage with that uh, person or persons directly and, and see how to improve the situation. Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy, Democrat from Illinois, Thank good you. to see you, sir. Thanks for coming on Same and sharing here. your views. Thanks, I appreciate Chef. it. Thank Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel, so thank you. Now do me a favor, subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Beat the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP, and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.